What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're going to be reviewing the Solid Edge Works Vegeta Volume 10. Before we dive into the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell, like the video, comment your thoughts down below for us to discuss, follow me on my socials, and consider becoming a YouTube member to enter into our monthly giveaways and Discord server so our community can help you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. This figure is based on Vegeta and Majin Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta's base form is based on his reveal of returning to the fight with Majin Buu as commanded by King Yama in Dragon Ball Z Chapter 306, while his Majin form is based on the iconic manga cover art of him walking towards Goku in DBZ Chapter 264. This is a Solid Edge Works release, which are museum-style crane figures from Ben Presto. If you're interested in buying this figure, then I recommend Bashman Collectibles, my favorite place to buy Kuji and collectibles. Link to their page in the description. I'm not sponsored by Bashman at the time of recording this video, I just really like their service and prices. These figures were released on April 13th, 2023. Both figures stand at about 8 inches tall, weigh about 11.5 ounces in box, weigh 5.8 ounces on their own, and both figures come with their upper body, lower body, and support. Vegeta. So just like Trunks, Vegeta got a second chance in Solid Edge Works, but was he as good as Trunks? Well, spoiler, no. I already said in that video that Trunks is the best Solid Edge Works figure. So, uh, but yeah, let's let's talk about this man right here. Vegeta as a character choice. I love Vegeta. Vegeta is my second favorite character, and just like Trunks. He absolutely deserved a comeback, a second chance in Solid Edge Works. Now, I have said in the past that I'm kind of sick of Bandai just like only doing Majin Vegeta. They're just like, there's Majin Vegeta and Saiyan Saga Vegeta, and then that's it. Like, bro, there's there's so many other... Dragon Ball Super gave you outfits. There's cool outfits in Dragon Ball Z. Like, can we just get some variety for, for Vegeta for once? Um, so they kind of made up for that by making one of the variants his base form, which we already did get a base form Vegeta, but that thing is ugly as hell. And this is him from the Boo Saga. So I'm totally okay with that just because Boo Saga is my favorite arc. I think it's a fantastic look for v Vegeta. This is my favorite fit for Vegeta. Just like no armor, just his jumpsuit. Looks really cool. Um, but I will dock a point just because we've already seen Vegeta in Solid Edge Works, even though he was due for a redo. So I'm going to give the character choice a 4 out of 5. Uh, likeness. Likeness is really good on base Vegeta. Uh, I don't know what happened with the Majin Vegeta face. Holy crap. Uh, let's, let's talk about base Vegeta. Let's talk about the good first. Uh, we'll do the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, the good is that Majin, or not Majin Vegeta, base Vegeta's face is freaking awesome. It's phenomenal. It, he looks really good. He looks just like he does in the anime. Um, he is one of the best looking Vegetas in the face that I've ever seen. Um, I, I don't know if it's the colors or what, but the way that they sculpted his, his face looks great, man. Like they added just slight anime lines under his eyes. That smirk on his face looks real good. Um, his eyes are just like mm, really, really well done. And his widow's peak isn't like too big. So he doesn't look goofy. Um, so I, I'm really happy with the way that the base form Vegeta's face came out. So base form Vegeta will get a five out of five for his likeness. Majin Vegeta, whoa, whoa, what happened? Um, so I will say that he starts okay, right? His, his, his face and his eyes are essentially the same as regular Vegeta's. So it looks okay there for the most part. Um, his eyes are, are fine. I would have maybe asked for a little bit extra bold 
around his eyes just because it is a significant part of Majin Vegeta when he's in this form because he's like evil now. But dude, what happened to his mouth? He looks like he's got like buck teeth or something and his his mouth is like deformed. Um, oh man, and this is not, I, I will say I have seen worse. One of the people in my, my server, I think it's save, maybe not save, it could be somebody else in my server. No, sorry if I forgot. If you know who you are, comment down below. Uh, one of you guys have Solid Edge Works Vegeta and his teeth are like sticking out of his face. Um, mine's not that bad, but oh, dude, what happened? Um, I don't, I don't want to give it like a one out of five because he, he looks a little bit like Majin Vegeta in the face, but man, he's just, he's ugly. He, he looks bad. Um, notably bad. And I, I don't know what happened. Like, they should have made his his mouth is like too rounded or something. It looks like it's like oh open up here comes the plane, um, but it's uh, it should be a little more edgy I, I guess angular is maybe the word that I'm looking for. Uh, <laughs> he just looks very goofy. Um, dang they 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 really messed up. Um, I'm gonna have to give his likeness a two out of five on Majin Vegeta. It's it's not that good, especially when you put him next to the base Vegeta. It's like, oof, what happened? It's just like whiplash right there in your face. Anyways, let's move on. His sculpt, pretty good. Um, I don't know what they were doing with his foot support. Uh, it looks like, uh, I don't know, like tongs or something. <laughs> it's interesting. I'll say that, but I think it would have just done better if they'd done like the singular foot support for his back foot or whatever that they've been doing with most of these figures. So I, I don't know what the what the the idea behind them is. I guess it's because both of his feet are slightly coming off the ground. Um, but there's just they're always so different whenever they do foot supports. It's never like singular types of foot supports for uh, Solid Edge Works. They just keep trying something new every time. Um, so that's kind of weird. Um, you will see the seam on his waist that separates, you know, his upper from his lower body. Um, I will point out that that is something that Vegeta had um, in a lot of the Buu Saga of Dragon Ball Z. Sometimes they show his shirt is slightly tucked in um, to his bottom, and then sometimes they don't. Um, but I do believe I, I mostly saw it like tucked in um, whenever I saw um, Vegeta. I've been watching the Buu Saga lately with my girlfriend. It's her first time. So it's, it's a little inconsistent. So whenever I see it in figures like this, it doesn't really bother me that much, especially n knowing that, hey, uh, both figures are the, essentially the same thing and their upper bodies are just slightly different. Um, I do like the details around his, uh, his jumpsuit. Uh, his muscles are very well defined. I like that his hair isn't like too big. Um, it looks really good on him. Even the Majin Vegeta hair looks pretty good. Um, and the details like the veins on Majin Vegeta are really good. His muscles on his arms are slightly bigger than base form Vegeta's. I even like the little touch that Vegeta, like he's got two fingers out when he's got his, his hand on his waist just like in the anime and manga. So very nice touch and uh, you know both boys they got cakes, bro. <laughs> they put some cakes on these Vegeta. Um, so I think the sculpt is pretty good. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Just the only weird part mostly is the, uh, the the foot support. And, you know, they got a separating line on their waist. Uh, paint shading, pretty standard for Solid Edge Works. Uh, there's no shading at all on either of these figures. Uh, but I like the blacks that they used for uh, base Vegeta's hair. I like the blues that they used for his jumpsuit along with Majin Vegeta's. Majin Vegeta could have used some shading in his hair and namely his skin, but it is what it is. We just don't normally see shading on these figures for Solid Edge Works, but I do think they're painted pretty well. I don't really see any mistakes when it comes to paint and shading. I even like the greens of the eyes in, um, in Majin Vegeta. So um, I'll give both the, of these figures a four out of five for their paint and shading. And then size and scale, I think they, they this is when like Solid Edge Works started to shrink a little bit or something. Uh, so I, it, it, it's not it's not bad. Like they're both eight inches tall, but they just they just feel smaller than usual. Um, you know, compared to like the trunks that I just reviewed, um, or or I don't know, 
like the even the earlier Solid Edge Works figures just seemed like a little bigger in scale, but uh, they're not bad. Uh, they're just you know they're not going to scale outside of Solid Edge Works, and they're not going to scale within Solid Edge Works. I think their size is is fine. Um, so I'm going to give their size and scale a three out of five. It's nothing great. It's like kind of right down the middle. But yeah, uh, very interesting release <laughs> from uh, Solid Edge Works. The base Vegeta, I think, is definitely worth picking up. I actually really liked him coming out of this. And uh, the uh, the Majin Vegeta, they, they, they screwed him up, dude. They, they screwed him up. So uh, here's what I'll do. I'll give them both two different ratings as I normally do in these situations. I'm going to give the base Vegeta a four out of five. And I'm gonna give the Majin Vegeta a 2.5 out of five. Until the next video, guys, I will see you all later.